The films can now be accessed by millions of viewers on a continental platform telling Namibian stories, culture, language and landscape. NBC News caught up with the veteran Namibian filmmaker Vixen Angula in Okahanja. Angula has been in the industry for about three decades. He says this is a great step as it gave a platform to upcoming filmmakers to gain skills and put Namibian stories out there. Angula directed one of the 13 films, Kona's ER, a drama that brings quality emergency medical services to the Katutura community. I would be lying if I said that uh, it's not a welcome injection in the, in the local film industry. Uh, a lot was achieved and I, I know much could have been better. The, for example, the budgets could have really been better. And uh, not meant to be a criticism, but uh, even uh, multi-choice. And, uh, you know, they are, when you take into account what they spent uh, elsewhere on the continent, with all these little things that were uh, missing, uh, uh, let me just say, still a very good uh, injection in the industry. Another veteran is Ekta Muindwa Koura, who shared with NBC News on how the platform speaks volume to all those who have been involved. Koura featured in one of the films, The Funeral. To me, it really speaks volume. It's uh, really one of those exciting moments. And I'm truly, truly happy for everyone that has been involved in it in this industry from its infancy um, and all the effort and the fight that uh, they put through sometimes with dash tops but with only one vision in mind to grow this this industry and to really uh, you know um, make sure that it gets the recognition that it deserves the Mukoro projects a collaboration between the Namibian Broadcasting Corporation and MultiChoice can be accessed on Catch Up and Show Max on DSTV. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.